the, uh, the people of Mississauga have spoken tonight, and I want to say that I'm very humble. I want to say that, in my opinion, this campaign is, or my campaign has been a mayor for the people of Mississauga. Hazel McCallion, leader, icon, and politician, was mayor of Mississauga from 1978 to 2014. Having served for 12 consecutive terms, McCallion is one of the longest serving mayors in Canada. Often referred to as Hurricane Hazel, she was relentless in promoting economy and frugality, transforming Mississauga from a semi-rural community into the sixth largest city in Canada. McCallion is a political role model to many and a trailblazer for women in politics. At age 100, she remains a global icon, a Canadian celebrity, admired, respected, and revered. The following artifacts are presented by the Museums of Mississauga in honor of the renaming of the Mississauga Central Library. These images and artifacts reflect a small glimpse of her story and achievements while holding political office. McCallion served as mayor of Streetsville from 1970 to 1973 until the town became part of the city of Mississauga in 1974. She entered city politics as the councillor for the Streetsville Ward, and after two terms, she ran for mayor in 1978 and won. McCallion saw Mississauga as more than a bedroom community for Toronto commuters. With a mindset for growth, her vision was to build an infrastructure where citizens could live and work. She pushed to create new jobs and increase the number of commercial and industrial developments. Her goal, creating a city. McCallion oversaw what was then touted as the world's largest peacetime evacuation. On November 10, 1979, a freight train derailed on Mavis Road, north of Dundas Street, with 24 train cars, many of them carrying tons of explosive chlorine gas. In total, 250,000 people were safely evacuated within the first 24 hours of the accident. There was no loss of life or serious injury, which McCallion referred to as the Mississauga Miracle. Often dubbed the People's Mayor, McCallion continues to be a tireless ambassador of Mississauga, Ontario, and Canada. Always ready to listen, she has been described by many as having a genuine curiosity in people and a desire to know their story. As a global citizen, McCallion has traveled the world through speaking engagements, economic and health missions, leadership conferences, and philanthropic interests. McCallion initiated the twinning sister city with Korea, Japan, and Mississauga will celebrate its 40th anniversary in 2021. This fest was worn at the opening of Korea Park and at the opening of the Japan Festival, the largest Japanese festival in North America. It is estimated that McCallion has received over 5,000 awards, plaques, trophies, and special mentions. This bobblehead honors two special recognitions awarded in 2005, the Order of Canada and being voted runner-up in the World Mayor Competition. In 2007, a rose was bred in honor of McCallion, which was then adopted as the city's official flower. In December 2016, Bill 16, the Hazel McCallion Day Act, acknowledged February 14th, her birthday, as Hazel McCallion Day. The private member's bill was introduced to celebrate her many achievements in local politics. I'm overwhelmed, really, with the way in, in which the citizens of Mississauga include me in their celebrations, and then the reaction of the community that invite me to their reopenings or their new location, etc. because I opened their first location, I'd have think, gee, they still remember me. <laughs> that is very satisfying, and, and I thoroughly enjoy going back and being with them again. On February 14th, 2021, the Mississauga Central Library will be renamed the Hazel McCallion Central Library. The library will close to the public in March 2021 to make way for a major renovation to meet the growing needs of the citizens in Mississauga. The Hazel McCallion Central Library will reopen in 2023.